A330, A340, pushback and towing. This film presents the procedure for pushback and towing with the nose landing gear of the Airbus A340 in normal conditions. For the Airbus A330, the procedure is similar. Pushback. Make sure that the safety pins are installed on the nose, the main and the centerline gear. Cockpit preparation. After the cockpit checks, energize the aircraft electrical circuits following the AMM procedure by using external power or by starting the APU. Then set batteries 1 and 2 to on. Check the brake accumulator pressure on the triple indicator. The pointer in the green range indicates that a minimum of seven brake applications can be performed. Here, the pressure is too low. You have to pressurize the system through the blue electrical pump. Ask for clearance, then pressurize the blue hydraulic system. When the pressure is correct, switch off the blue electrical pump. Apply the parking brake and start the APU. The ground mechanic sets the towing lever to the towing position and installs the pin. Before you install the tow bar, make sure that the dimension H is correct. Attach the tow bar to the nose gear fitting. Make sure that the tow bar is equipped with a damping system, a traction shear pin calibrated at the required value, a torsion shear pin calibrated at the required value. Connect the tractor to the tow bar. Carry out an inspection around the aircraft. Make sure that the area is clear. Make sure that the engine cowls are properly locked, all the doors are closed and the gear doors are closed. Remove the main wheel chocks. Disconnect the external power. Contact the cockpit so that the operator asks for clearance. In the cockpit, select VHF on the control and monitoring radio panels.
contact air traffic control to request pushback and towing and wait for their authorization. It is highly recommended to set the navigation lights, beacon lights and logo lights to on. When ready, contact the ground operator. When authorized by the ground operator, release the parking brake and check the triple indicator. When the brake is off, the ground operators start the pushback operation. Push the aircraft smoothly and slowly. If you push or tow the aircraft in an area with nearby obstacles, two operators are required at the wingtips. The maximum towing angle, left and right, is indicated by a red mark painted on the nose gear fixed door. A steering angle protection system will activate an oversteer warning light if the steering angle exceeds a predetermined value. If exceeded, an inspection of the nose landing gear has to be carried out according to the AMM procedure. If you push or tow the aircraft with the engines at idle, the maximum steering angle is 40 degrees on each side to avoid nose landing gear slippage. When the pushback operation is completed, make sure that the nose wheels are aligned with the aircraft centerline. If not, tow the aircraft as required. In the cockpit, Apply the parking brake and check the triple indicator. Then, then disconnect the tow bar. The ground mechanic gives the clearance for engine start. Towing.
During the towing operation, communications between the tractor and the cockpit can be ensured by the headset or through a VHF radio. Once in position, make sure that the nose wheels are aligned with the aircraft center line. Inform the cockpit that the parking brake can be applied. In the cockpit, apply the parking brake and check the triple indicator. Inform the ground operator that the brake is applied, switch off the lights and set the radio to off. Put the wheel chocks in position. Disconnect the tow bar. Put the aircraft in the configuration related to the next operation. Disconnect the headset. Remove the steering pin. The pushback and towing operation is completed.